Hey folks, it's been a warm one across the valley today. In fact, a hot one in some places, but the humidity has gone down, so it doesn't feel quite as bad out there. These are the current temperatures, still 93 in McAllen, 95 in Rio Grande City right now. As you get closer to the coast, it cools off. In fact, Port Isabel is 79. It's 76 on South Padre Island at this, at this hour. But take a look at those dew points. Every once in a while, we talk about the dew points. That's really a measure of how much moisture there is in the air. There's a pretty big contrast across the valley. Already moisture beginning to creep back in in the eastern part of the valley where dew points have climbed back into the 50s. In the west, dew points are in the 20s and 30s. We'll show the low one on here, 35. That's pretty dry in the upper valley, but again, you saw back into the 50s in the lower valley, which is still considered comfortable and way below what it was yesterday. As we look ahead and see what's going to happen over the next few days, I think our humidity is going to climb back up slowly but surely, especially during the daytime tomorrow. It starts pretty mild in the morning, but then goes up, up, up and just keeps going up. And even with the front getting close on Saturday, notice the humidity levels don't drop. The dew points stay up in the 70s. That's a sign that our cool front this weekend does not push all the way through, that it stops here or just north of here because we stay in the humid air. When a front comes through, it pushes that humid air out of here. That's why right now there's a front just south of us. It came in today and brought the drier air into the region. Well, it's going to continue to settle a little bit farther to the south, but then the humidity will build right back in. That front stretches all the way over to New Orleans and beyond. So let's look at what's going to happen. That drier air is here for today today, but tomorrow yeah, still a little more humid, but still pretty comfortable. Two points climb back up a little bit, so you'll feel a little bit more of the humidity, but then by the time we get to Thursday, then I think the moisture is really starting to build back in. Then I think we're more humid. It's rather breezy, and by Friday, look to the north. Here comes another front. That front starts pushing southward, and that will help increase our rain chances by the time we get to Saturday. In fact, our rain chances way up for Saturday now. It looks like that front is going to stall right on top of us on Saturday, or maybe just a little to the north, but close enough to trigger rain. I think the biggest rain will probably be north of us, but scattered showers very much a possibility here. There you see the rain start to ramp up on Friday, 20% during the day, 30% at night. Right now, the weekend looks like we could see pretty good showers around, especially on Saturday. High temperatures tomorrow comfortable, right about normal for this time of year at 84, but then we're up to 90 on Thursday and then 88 on Friday as a chance of rain starts to creep into the forecast. So this is what we expect on the weekend. I think Saturday, a lot of clouds, showers, maybe a thunderstorm mixed in. I think for the most part it's showers, but again, don't be surprised if you pick up a thunder shower. 88 for a high and then Sunday, leftover showers. I think our rain chances peak during the daytime on Saturday, taper off Sunday and then probably fade away for the most part after that. If you're at the coast, your winds there out of the east to southeast, 10 to 15, a moderate chop, UV is very high. Small craft use caution through the daytime today. By the time we get to this evening, the wind uh, will fade away a little bit more. There are your tides, a low and a high. So for tonight, 61, back in the 60s tonight. Should be comfortable, mostly clear. By morning, some clouds will build back in. And then during the daytime tomorrow, it's a partly sunny day. Humidity slowly coming up with that wind turning around to the southeast at about 10 to 20. But still a comfortable day. Your high tomorrow around 84 degrees. Here's your first one five accurate of the forecast for the next seven days. Tomorrow looks nice. I think an isolated shower can't be ruled out on Thursday. A better chance late Friday and then Saturday. That's our best chance of rain with scattered showers. Maybe a thunder shower mixed in. Sunday, 87 degrees with again a leftover shower. Humidity builds in again for Monday and Tuesday and temperatures begin to climb once again. So for tomorrow, tomorrow looks like a great day. We start the day in the 60s, low 60s. Climb back in the 80s in the afternoon with slowly rising humidity. That's your updated First One Five forecast.